Hello, my name is Pete Calvo, I'm president of the Glassboro Board of Education. The board's responsible for ensuring every student is provided with a thorough and efficient education while helping them prepare for college and careers. Over the past few years, a stalled economy and tight budgets have forced all school districts, including Glassboro, to postpone special improvement or capital improvement projects and scale back maintenance expenditures. The result is an accumulation of deferred maintenance, which has led to higher school operating cost and more equipment malfunctions. It's common sense that substandard conditions in our schools make it harder for teachers to teach and children to learn, and schools and disrepair can adversely affect residential property values. Rigorous research has demonstrated for each $1 spent improving marginal education facilities leads to $1.50 in economic value. Conversely, continued deferred maintenance costs more than four times as much when you finally get around to doing the work. More than two years ago, the board commissioned a review of our facility needs. Our architectural and engineering consultants work closely with the Board of Education, our administration, and the Community Advisory Committee to review and prioritize all of our infrastructure needs. We addressed safety and security, energy and environmental conditions, technology advancements, educational programs, and critical systems. Specific needs include roof repairs and replacements, boiler and chiller systems, correction of water infiltration at the intermediate school roof perimeter, fire alarm replacements, the construction of secure entry vestibules in all schools, security cameras and district-wide communication systems, technology and classroom upgrades to support classroom instruction. The Board of Education understands the need to balance the community's desires and the ability to actually pay for those needs. In order to help pay for the estimated $26.9 million in school improvement needs, we petition and receive support from the New Jersey Department of Education for debt service aid to cover $12.6 million, or 47% of the work. However, acceptance of state aid is contingent upon passing a successful referendum. There are few things in this world that's more important to a society than investing in our child's education. As a proud member of the Glassboro community, we all see and appreciate the redevelopment of the downtown area expansion through Rowan University and the economic stimulus brought about by those changes. It's important that we keep the momentum going and ensure our schools are top notch and stay that way for years to come. I urge you to please do your part and familiarize yourself with the referendum and come out and vote on September 30th. It's your only chance to decide where your tax dollars are going. Support your local schools, your community, and the future of our most valuable asset, our children. Thank you.